Hey guys, welcome back to More Life with Courtney. And if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Courtney and we are in the midst of having our dream home built. I guess you can say we're kind of in the halfway point. We're in the framing phase. I know a lot of people are wondering like how much it costs to get a house built, what types of things that you want to put in the house as far as structural upgrades and additions and design upgrades. So I'm gonna get into what we actually paid and upgrades for our dream home Chateau de Moore. All right, I created an Excel spreadsheet. I have my computer right here in front of me. <laughs> but, um, so I'm gonna get into, I actually broke it down into structural, technology, and design um, categories. I'm gonna get into what we spent. I'm, gonna see, I'm actually gonna move over some. So as I speak on each item, I'm gonna pop it up and then have like a little tally sheet for you all right here. As you all can see from the title of the video, we spent a pretty penny on upgrading our home. However, everything wasn't what you would normal, what other people would consider to be an upgrade. A lot of things were structural um, additions to our home. So it really wasn't an upgrade. I think that more so upgrades are within the design or certain functionalities of the home. But as far as structural, I don't personally, I don't consider them uh, upgrades I consider them additions however I'm going to include it also that way you can get an idea as to what's going on when you build your house first section that I notated as far as the upgrades is structural upgrades and the house that we chose they had I want to say it had like four different elevation choices I'll pop up a picture of the different selections that our builder had for us so with that elevation it was already a $10,000 addition to the home. The lot that we chose, it was in a cul-de-sac. I did a post on Instagram. I'll pop up the post right here, um, giving the pros and cons of living in a cul-de-sac. Make sure you check that out. But the premium that we had to pay in order to have that specific lot, it was a lot. It was $20,000 on top of, now mind you, all of these costs that I'm gonna name are on top of the base price of the home. Lot premiums come from the location of the home, the size of the lot, the quality of the land. So $20,000 went to the lot premium. We actually wanted nine foot foundation or basement walls. Standard, it would have been eight feet. However, when you're in the basement, all the HVAC duct work is in the ceiling where it will be above you. And so that space will take away from the height of the basement walls. And so we decided to get nine foot walls so that way our basement won't look so closed in or um, short for lack of better words. That was $5,850 to get the nine foot foundation basement walls. We also got windows on the side, on each side of our fireplace. They were a total of $850. They were $425 each. Um, we also got an alternate upstairs level. So basically, um, standard there would be no sitting room in the um, owner's suite. I think it would be one large owner's closet. So, and we definitely, it was a must have for us to have two separate closets, my husband and I. So we opted for the alternate level so I can have my own closet, he can have his own closet. And it also added a, sit a sitting room and it changed the layout of our bathroom also. That was $14,995. Um, we also added a third bathroom in one of the secondary bedrooms upstairs. That was $5,495. We got a box tray ceiling in our bedroom. That was $1,995. We opted to have a stone fireplace. That was $1,895. We also opted to get the gourmet kitchen. The, to have the gourmet kitchen itself, it was $4,650. We also opted to get the uh, dual HVAC zone control. So basically we have a thermostat upstairs on the first level, and I mean uh, on the upstairs level, and then we have a thermostat on the main level. Thermostat on the main level controls the air condition and heating on the main level and the basement, and the upstairs thermostat controls everything upstairs 
We also opted to get a morning room. That was one of my must haves. The cost of the morning room extension on the back was $19,995. We also got oak stairs. So we got hardwood stairs on our, um, well, hard flooring stairs. And that was $3,200. On the office, in the front of the house, we I opted to get doors. It would be the glass doors on the office, and that was $1,695. To get the fireplace itself, not just the stone front, but to get the fireplace itself, it was $5,195. And we also got a wet bar rough in in the basement. So we're not getting our basement finished with the builder we are getting another contractor to do that, but we do wanna have a wet bar down there, so we got the wet bar rough in plumbing, and that itself was $650. All right, so that's it for structural upgrades or additions, however you want to categorize it. Next, I'm gonna speak on technology. For our technology, that includes like the HDMI, any type of um, speakers or wireless access points and stuff like that. We opted not to get the home theater system because with technology nowadays, we can get Bluetooth speakers and stuff like that. We don't need to have speakers in the ceiling because the technology changes all the time. And so we don't, we didn't want to run the risk of our technology being outdated by the time it's time to, to, or if we decide to sell the house. So we opted to not get that. We're going to do a Bluetooth speaker system, probably from Best Buy or something like that. The technology package that we chose came with, um, two cable TV and video outlets, two telephone outlets, two cat six and we got the basic security system and it, and it includes all exterior doors on the first floor basement one motion detector one keypad and one siren so we actually had the ring um, system in our previous house and so I like their I like their program and so that's what we're gonna do when we move in we didn't we opted not to get the security system with the with the builders our package came with two cable outlets and I believe we put those in the family room above the fireplace place and we put it in um, our bedroom however we opted to get three additional ones to put in the secondary bedrooms those were a total of $375 the panel downstairs in the basement that will house all of the electrical cords for the entire house um, we upgraded and got it as a 30 inch uh, panel I believe so basically I'm not sure exactly what the size what the standard size is but whatever it is it wasn't going to be big enough to house all the cores like the guy explained that if we did not get the 30 inch panel all the cores would be so pushed in that it could possibly cause the the panel not to close to cover everything up so we got the 30 inch panel so that way all of our cords can fit in the panel nice and neat and close and won't be no, no cords will be exposed that was $185. We got the wireless access point. The wireless access point was $500. That allows us to have access to the internet, all levels of the home. There won't be any space that there are any dead zones. We got the, the stone box wall mount. So on our stone fireplace, there's a space where it's easy for us to be able to mount our TV. That addition was $875. And then we got HDMI pre-wires in all of the bedrooms, and that was a total of $460. That was all of the technology additions or upgrades. And now on to the design, which I know that's what everybody pictures or thinks about when you're speaking on upgrades for your home. So for our design, we added two additional outlets. I got an outlet in my closet because that's going to be like a little beauty space and I want to be able to have possibly like a cute lamp or something in there or whatever I may need to use. I got an additional outlet in my closet and the other the other electrical outlet we got above the fireplace to go along with the um, HDMI um, outlets for the TV in the family room. So those two additional outlets was a total of $230. Uh, we also got the butler's pantry. So the butler's pantry itself um, to have cabinets was $2,200. However, with the 
cabinet package that we chose um, to have the same cabinets match those that are in the kitchen we that was an upgrade in themselves the cabinet selection that we chose it themselves however for the cabinets in the butler pantry to match the kitchen cabinets that was nine hundred fifty dollars on to the cabinets themselves um, with the upgrades with the cabinets I believe there was like a four level um, no I think it was three I'm sorry three level upgrades with the cabinets and with that upgraded cabinet selection it included different colors um, the um, lighter more cooler colors and so the color that we chose and the style that we chose was seven thousand five hundred dollars for the cabinets themselves we got ceiling fan pre-wires in all of the uh, bedrooms. The only room that it was included was in the dining room area. But we ended up getting a total of seven, seven ceiling fan pre-wires and that came out to a total of $1,225. They were $125 each. Um, we also got the for the garage itself um, there is a, an additional cost for it to have the garage opener instead of us having to open it up manually we got the um, garage opener but I will get to that that's not in order sorry <laughs> but to be able to have the keypad in order to um, access the garage door from the outside from the service door that was $75 um, we got floodlights on the back of the house so that way, you know, it is motion detected and the lights will come on in the back of the house. Those were $695 total and it came with two lights in the back. Um, to have our whole flooring package, um, I got, we have LVP hard flooring on the whole first level and we got um, LVP on the landing when you go up the steps upstairs by the bedrooms we also got hard flooring in the area going into the where the mud room and pantry is in addition to the hard flooring we got I believe we got the standard carpet itself however we did upgrade the padding um, and the total flooring package with that was sixteen thousand seven hundred ninety dollars I will say the rooms that came standard with hard flooring was the uh, main entrance hallway, um, the kitchen, and that might have been it. <laughs> I believe that might have been it that came um, hard floor standard. However, each additional room downstairs was uh, an additional cost. So the office, the dining no, I'm sorry, I believe the dining room. So I think it was the dining room, the hall and the kitchen came standard as hard flooring but we had to pay for the office area to be hard floor the family room and the morning room and again like i said the space um going into the mud room and pantry i believe it was going to be standard laminate but we decided to get the hard floor so that way to be all one smooth and consistent flooring a lot amongst the entire floor downstairs um, we also got additional recess lights. The recess lighting um, was standard in the kitchen area and in the hallways. Any place that is like safe, that is a safety hazard, going up the steps, in the hallways, in the bathrooms, there were some that were um, standard. However, we did get additional um, recess lights. We got 12 additional recess lights and they were $195 each. As you all know, each builder has different prices, so don't take my prices as Bible because it could be different depending on your builder. But we end up spending a total of $2,340 for additional recessed lighting. Um, to have, back to the garage, to have the garage door opener, the electric garage door opener, we got two a two-door garage, so they were $550 each, so that was a total of $1,100. Um, the appliance package that we chose to go along with our gourmet kitchen, um, that itself, and that includes the, um, the refrigerator, the cooktop, the hood, the double oven, um, and the dishwasher. I believe that's it, yeah, because we got our laundry, um, the washer and dryer separate. We've already purchased that. We bought that for Black Friday, but we did not get the... Um, wash and dry that came with the builder because there it was a significantly different price between what they were offering and what we we purchased for um, 
for Black Friday. Anyway, the appliance package that we got was $4,495. We got a glass cabinet door in the kitchen. We got one. I wanted to have one in the kitchen and then four for each panel in the butler's pantry, but they were $695 each and I opted to get floor or hard floor in the office instead of having carpet in the office so i sacrificed my glass windows in the butler's pantry to get hard floor in the office but as you all know it's possible to replace those panels in the middle of the cabinet so that way um later on down the line i can get glass panels in those cabinets but i did get one in the kitchen like i said it was 695 dollars we did get uh cabinets in the laundry room the built-in cabinets in the laundry room they were $1,150. We got the frameless shower in, in our owner's bathroom. That was $2,450. We got two pendant lights above the island in the kitchen. They were $150 each. So that was a total of $300. Um, we got pull out, two pull-out trays in the cabinets in the kitchen and that makes easy makes it easy to be able to get pots and pans from out of the cabinets instead of having to reach down you can just pick them up they were a total of 350 dollars um the sink that we got in the kitchen we got the stainless steel farmhouse sink that was a pretty penny i mean i kind of i that was might have been the only thing that was kind of shameful of getting but i mean hey it is what it is if i'm getting we spending this money in this house i want to get what i want and i don't want to um you know regret it in the end and then if i decide to get a, a farmhouse sink after the fact it's a whole issue because the cabinets are shorter than they were than they would be in a regular if you got a regular sink so we just decided to go ahead and go with the deep farmhouse sink but we did get the stainless steel that was one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars um the kitchen hardware that we decided to get we did go ahead and get the kitchen hardware upgraded but as far as the bathrooms um we did not upgrade we got standard we will though that i actually saw some that i want to get on from lowe's that um matches with the kitchen hardware so we decided not to upgrade all hardware just the kitchen hardware and that was 850 dollars we got the trash the two trash bins in the cabinets in the kitchen that was 200 a total of 255 dollars um we got under cabinet lighting and we got and then we got end up getting nine of them to also include oh what did i i don't know i can't remember if i got them in the butler's pantry but if not whatever we got nine of those and that came out to a total of one thousand three hundred fifty dollars we also got our backsplash was two thousand two hundred fifty dollars okay um so with the upgraded cabinet package that we chose that included upgraded cabinets in the kitchen and in the owner's bathroom that did not include upgrading the cabinets in the secondary bathrooms we decided to go ahead and upgrade the cabinets in the secondary bathrooms because we wanted to have a uniform look within throughout the house as far as the cabinets we did not get the same colors in the kitchen our bathroom and the secondary bathrooms however the style of the cabinets are the same so in order to upgrade the secondary bathroom cabinets that was a total of one thousand one hundred dollars the countertops that we chose in the kitchen was two thousand eight hundred fifty dollars we also upgraded the countertops in the owner's bathroom that was one thousand one hundred dollars the countertops that we chose for the butler's pantry was three hundred ninety five dollars and we also opted to get square basin sinks in the secondary bathrooms it did come standard in the owner's bathrooms but we wanted to have a, again a uniform look amongst all the bathrooms in the home and so in order for us to get square basin sinks in the secondary bathrooms that was one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars and that also was considered a custom request with our builder also one last thing as far as the exterior of the home i'm not sure if this is something that all builders do if so please let me know in the comments however there's a also there's an additional cost for the if we decide to get a darker color for our siding on the exterior of the home and so of course we end up getting a darker color it wasn't planned but 
once we saw all the different options we fell in love with a darker color and so the color that we chose ended up being $775 additional for the home. After all of those upgrades, we ended up uh, coming out with a grand total of $160,625. Again, some of these are not really considered an upgrade, but I'm sure you all might consider it that I would just say this is our structural technology and design upgrades and additions to our home. I can't say that this is something that everyone, this is a cost that everyone is expected to pay when you're buying your home. A lot of people do a lot of DIY, get a lot of standard options. We did get a lot of standard options. I will say that we ought to get standard options as far as our faucets in the kitchen and the bathroom. My husband can change those out. Plus the upgraded selections that they have, I wasn't, I didn't fall in love with it. I wasn't, I didn't want to upgrade to get something that, you know, just because it's the color that I like, but it's not the style that I like. So we decided not to upgrade those things just for the sake of saying that we got something of a color that we like. So we decided to get all standard uh, fixtures in the bathrooms as far as light fixtures and plumbing fixtures so those will be things that we will spend money on after the fact for a lower price and for what we actually want all right you guys thank you so much for sticking along thank you so much for following along on this journey and i hope i was able to help you all get an idea of some things to get in your home and the estimated price of what they could or could not cost depending on the builder and make sure you all are subscribed if you have been watching this long if you've been watching my videos please make sure you are subscribed you may have been watching them on a regular basis and they may just show up on your feed just because you watch them regularly but make sure that you are subscribed so that way you won't miss any videos it also helps me and my channel it also helps my videos get out to other people who may want to see these type of videos who may be interested who may need to learn something new so thank you so much i'm thanking you in advance for subscribing liking and if you have any questions again like I said comment below or if you have any suggestions on anything please comment below make sure you follow our Instagram page Chateau de More I've been giving you all photographic updates of our home and I will be getting into a lot of more design as the process moves on also follow our Pinterest board I've also been saving a lot of different pins on there as far as inspiration of how this home will eventually be decorated all right you guys thank you again and see you on the next video. Bye.